Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about the latest prospect the Cowboys have met with. This is serious. Cap more time, baby. You know how we do it here. You know how we do it. All right. So, a lot of lot of draft news coming out. A lot of rumors. A lot of smoke screens. A lot of misdirection. This one comes from Bobby Belt. All right. Make sure you're following Bobby Belt on Twitter. He always has a lot of this uh, information on who the Cowboys met with. Um, he revealed on the podcast that he does with Jane Slater that the Cowboys have met with Patrick Queen, all right, the linebacker out of LSU, all right. Um, so this is interesting. This is interesting because we're talking about Kenneth Murray, and now we're talking about Patrick Queen. Okay, so what is the plan here? What are, what are the Cowboys trying to do? Is this more of an insurance policy for Leighton Vanderish, or is this just part of you know, the transition, trying to implement the 3-4, all right? 3-4, obviously, you need a lot of linebackers, okay? Yeah, we have some here. They're on one-year deals, but that's, uh, you got to follow the contracts, you know? We talk about the Cowboys having a secondary apocalypse in 2021 with uh, all those young guys becoming free agents. Same thing for the linebackers, okay? We have an old man, uh, Sean Lee, the general, still there. Five-star general, he's coming to the end of his career, all right? And then you have Joe Thomas, Gifford, and some of these other guys. So, you might as well pile up and get some linebackers if that's the plan. Okay, so, Patrick Queen, uh, more of a one-year wonder. You know, he really, the other two years outside of his really big campaign this year, his uh, final year in 2019, but before that, you know, minimal production. The production is, is kind of one of the things that kind of stands out when you're looking at Patrick Queen. Uh, you know, in 2018, he had 40 tackles. That number went up exponentially, um, almost double, a little over double. In 2019, 85 tackles. You know, and 12 tackles for a loss. Okay. The size as well, six foot, 229 pounds. You know, we're just looking at the combine numbers here. With 31 and 5 eighths arm. 10 inch hands wingspan is 76 and 7 eighths 40 yard dash was 4.50 you know the vertical jump was 20 uh was 35 excuse me bench press was 18 so a lot to uh, to break down here he is a sideline to sideline type of linebacker his speed i think when you look at him playing when you watch him on on tape you watch a couple of his games he looks faster than what he's time you know four five but uh, his game speed looks a lot faster. Um, able to diagnose, you know, uh, you know, seek and strike type of linebacker. That's what you're getting here with, with Patrick Queen. The size, you know, um, he'll he'll get dinged a little bit on the size by some clubs. But if we're talking about Mike McCarthy here, the one thing he's been emphasizing is if you're a playmaker, you have a place on this team. This isn't like the previous administration under Garrett where your tight end had to be 6'6". Six, six. Your your corners needed to be 6 foot or above. Um, your arms needed to be 32 and whatever, or 33 inch arms and that kind of thing. So with that, you need to keep that in mind. You know, Try to purge yourself of the old administration there with Garrett and the types of players. Okay, McCarthy is giving his input what's worked for him before. And a lot of that is blue chip playmakers, okay? Um, sure, some of them have been misses, but this happens to every team. But Mike McCarthy does a really good job working with the GM. He, he worked really well, um, you know, with the GM over there at Green Bay. And uh, we have the same capability here with Will McClay and Stephen Jones. So I feel good about these guys, who they're talking to, okay? Um... So, on top of that, you know, looking at uh, Dane Brugler's draft guide, go ahead and pick that up if you haven't already. If you sign up for The Athletic, you get it for free. Okay, so um, that's just my personal preference. There's draft guides all over the place, but uh, the gold standard for me is the beast, Dane Brugler's draft guide. Okay, so in summary, he says, overall, Queen doesn't have an extensive resume, which, which I talked about there. But he is super athletic, run and hit linebacker with excellent mirror skills and the fluidity to turn and run in coverage. 
projecting as a high upside NFL starter with every down ability. Okay, so you like that. You do like that. Um, you know, we talked about he doesn't have the extensive resume, but uh, that twenty that 2019, you know, is, is he a one-year wonder? Maybe, but, you know, when, when you look at what he's able to do, dropping back in coverage, uh, mirroring, you know, being a spy, I mean, he does it all. He's well-rounded. You know, he can play your will. He can play wherever you want him to play. And the nickel he can cover. So you can see why he's getting the attention that he's getting. Okay. Where is he? Where is he mocked? Where is he projected? He's anywhere from a first to a second. Okay. Same thing for Kenneth Murray. Are they 1A, 1B? You know, that I think that's where you have these two linebackers. Excuse me. 2A, 2B. Let's not forget about Isaiah Simmons. All right. Isaiah Simmons is, is the number one, without a doubt, undisputed number one linebacker coming out. Okay. But if you're talking about Kenneth Murray versus Patrick Queen, I think you get better coverage skills with uh, Patrick Queen. Okay. Kenneth Murray has all the stats, a tackling machine. Um, for a lot of his years. So there's a lot to be liked about that. A lot of teams have interest in Kenneth Murray. So you have to, like I said before, take some of this with a grain of salt. But also, there is a possibility that the Cowboys are looking at linebackers. If you're going to transition to a 3-4, if you have better players there, it's good. All right? Yeah, we have Joe Thomas, Gifford, and all these other guys, and, and, and uh, Sean Lee. But if you can give me one of these linebackers that's a tackling machine... Kenneth Murray or Patrick Queen, and you line them up out there with the uh, LV, the Wolf Hunter, and Jalen Smith. That's a hell of a trio, man. That's a hell of a trio. Okay. 3 4, nickel. You got guys that can cover. You got, you got guys that are a hell of a tacklers. All of them. You have a guy who can can come off the edge and, and give you some pass rush with Jalen Smith. He did that at Notre Dame. And he's got a lot of speed. <laughs> Jalen Smith's speed is crazy. What a great story that's been. LVE, let's see how that looks. That, that's, a, that's a big one there, you know. But uh, interesting that they're looking at these linebackers. Interesting that they're looking at Patrick Queen. Keep an eye on that one. Is 17 too rich? You really can't say that right now. Yeah, he's projected as a one-two. But if um, if they high, if these guys, if the Cowboys have him graded high, they won't have a problem taking him there at 17. Okay. No. Could you trade back and still get one of these guys? It's possible, but you're playing with fire. The Eagles have a lot of interest in Kenneth Murray. There's rumors that they want to move up to get Murray. And maybe that's part of the maybe that's part of the strategy for the Cowboys, you know, throwing the chum in the water. Hey Eagles, you want this guy? We'll move back if you want him. We'll move back. You'll probably get a third rounder out of it, you know. You'll probably get the Eagles third round pick out of that. Um uh, I don't know that you can get a second. Maybe they'll try a second, but for sure you get a third out of it. And you might still get one of your guys that you've been looking at. They've been looking at a lot of good quality players here in the first round, you know. Pick your flavor, you know. What do you want? Do you want to trade back? You can probably still get McKinney, possibly. You could possibly still get Fulton if you want. Uh, Gator Gross Matos. They've interviewed him. He, he would be a possibility there, okay. Um, Jeff Gladney, if you, want to, if you want to take him in the first, he's still there. So there's a lot of options that Cowboys have really protected themselves and done really well this offseason with free agency, you know. They have players in place, but now you use the draft to get better in those places. Can you get better than Anthony Brown on the outside? Hell yeah. Can you get better at linebacker over a, an aging Sean Lee and Joe Thomas and these guys? Hell yeah, you can, okay. Can you get better at defensive end with a Caleb on chase on? I think that would be a great mix with Alden Smith and Randy Gregory, assuming the commissioner doesn't screw us over like he does. You know, the middle finger to that guy there, the commissioner. 
uh, forever and always. <laughs> All right. But uh, that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the Cowboys having interest in Patrick Queen. What do you think their plan is here? What's the play? Okay, guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're a fan of Patrick Queen, an LSU Tiger fan, what you think about this player and how he can contribute to the Cowboys from your point of view. All right, guys? So that's it for right now. Just a quick little news, quick little analysis on Patrick Queen. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you for the next video, guys. Shout out to all my members. Peace, everybody.